私の,あの建築のテーマは自然と建築をどうするかですけど2つの方法をやって1つはあの木や土やといった自然の素材をどう現代建築の中に使うかもう1つは実際の自然つまり植物をどう建築の中に取り入れるかっていう2つの方法をやっています。一番私が関心があるのはやはり古い人類の歴史の,この初期の段階まだ国とかその文明とか各国の文化が分かれる前の人間がやっていたことや建物っていうのに大変関心があってそれが私の一番建築のなんていうか中心のテーマになっているわけです。ですから私がイギリスでものすごくたくさん見たのはイギリスのストーンヘイジやネオリスティックエイジの構造物をたくさん見歩きました。引きこもって楽しむそういう小さな空間を作りたいと思いました日のある小さな空間を作りたいそのためにはやはりお茶を飲む小さなスペースを作りたいと思ったわけですあの今度何人の建築家が参加しているわけですけれどもその中で私が知っているのはまあ日本の藤本藤本はもう大変よく知っているわけですけど他の建築家たちのですね小さなこう作品っていうのもですね見るのが大変楽しみにしております。What was really exciting for us was to be able to position Fujimori's structure in direct dialogue with these key objects from the medieval Renaissance collections, these sort of full-size architectural fragments, especially the Morlay staircase just behind me. These are examples of architecture from a much older, longer tradition of building. In describing his buildings, he says that his architecture should never resemble buildings after the Bronze Age. Fujimori was very interested in this relationship with other traditional building techniques and the idea of the spiritual nature of wood, for example. So he, he loves being in this space for that reason. A key visual element is this, this charring, and that's something that is also at the heart of a lot of Fujimori's work. He feels that the charring process gives an intrinsic sort of unity and an integrity to the structure. It, it waterproofs it, it protects the structure from bugs and pests, and actually uh, this process of charring and burning actually extends the lifetime of the structure for sort of you know, 60, 70 years. I think for me the most satisfying aspect of the project has been watching Fujimori's generosity in terms of involving other people in the construction of this building. One of the key stories for this structure is the collaboration with the Royal College of Art students. The architecture students have been involved with the plastering finish on the interior of the building, the general assembly of the various panels for the structure. The ladder is entirely a design from the Royal College of Art students. And we ran a sort of informal competition with the ceramic students for the tea set that actually sits inside the structure. The structure will be fully accessible for visitors. So you have a, a little stool here where people can sit down and take their shoes off. And then six people will go up at any one time. And it's a space for intimate conversation and, and discussion and debate. So you could come with a group of friends or you could just come for a random hookup with some strangers in the V&A. Thank you.